Welcome to Polymer Update TV, a free plastics raw material news show. You are watching weekly trends in polymer buying and selling with me, Claire Jones. It is Tuesday, May 8. This week, LLDP prices witnessed a decline in some parts of Asia, while remaining steady in other parts of the region. Crude oil prices continue to remain volatile with no signs of an immediate de-escalation in Middle Eastern tensions. Indications by the U.S. Federal Reserve to maintain a tightened policy stance for a prolonged time period is also weighing on crude oil demand. Meanwhile, soaring global freight rates have led to a significant rise in maritime transport costs adversely affecting the cash flows of suppliers and exerting a bearish pressure on their margins. In Far East Asia, LLDP prices were assessed at $940 to $980 per metric ton CFR levels, a drop of $10 per metric ton from last week. In Southeast Asia, LLDP prices were assessed at $980 to $1,010 per metric ton CFR levels, a week-on-week -week decrease of $20 per metric ton. In India, LLDP prices were assessed at the $940 to $960 per metric ton CFR levels, a fall of $20 per metric ton from the previous week. Buyers were heard bidding at lower price levels. The domestic purchase pulse remained weak with buyers displaying a keenness to source material locally and refraining from making import purchases. Although overseas suppliers were eager to raise prices, they encountered a pushback from buyers who cited dull demand and a busy election season as reasons for not making purchase commitments. A few major piping projects in the country have been deadlocked with the government not able to issue new tenders owing to the constraints of the model code of conduct for the elections. Indian producers are also impeded in their efforts to secure Memorandum of Understandings, MOUS, for domestic contracts for fiscal 2024-25. A decline in the number of MOUS, which are typically signed in April, has emerged as a challenge for producers as it has constrained their ability to plan out their production activity for the year. It is also heard that suppliers are selling material below prevailing domestic price levels to bolster buying. Key factors that have dampened Indian market sentiment include the ongoing general elections and a labor shortage situation. Thank you for watching.